guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a wonderful day today I have my sample Sunday series to share with you guys I know last week we did a live video which was so fun so I'm gonna try to do a live sample Sunday at least once or twice a month I'll let you guys know a little bit in advance when I do a live one so if you're interested in joining in with the live videos I think they're fun that way because I feel like I could connect with you guys a little bit better Unfortunately, I cannot do a live sample Sunday this week, so we're going to be doing it this way. So I'm going to be talking about all the samples I've tried out this past week. Some of them were good and some of them were better. So we had some good ones this week, which makes me very, very happy. The first one is this one right here. This is the Ulta Beauty Brightening Red Clay Treatment Body Butter made with red clay, glycolic acid, and licorice root extract. Oh my goodness, guys. First of all, this smells absolutely amazing. It smells like oranges. I love the scent of oranges, especially in the wintertime. In the wintertime, I think it just smells like Christmas for some reason. And I, I think oranges have always reminded me of Christmas because of like FFA. FFA, if you guys are familiar with, is like Future Farmers of America. They usually sell fruit around this time of year and then you get your big boxes of oranges and it just reminds me of Christmas. So anyway, that's a little bit off topic, but this smells very, very good. It works so good on my body. I love the way this makes my body feel. It just leaves my skin feeling soft and hydrated, but yet very, very clean. So it's just so good. I would definitely purchase another one of these. This was like a sample, but this bar is pretty big, so I'm going to be able to use it up for a little bit longer. So that makes me very happy. I do have like a little pink, it's like a plastic container that I put my like my bars of soap into so I can keep it in the shower with me so I can use that while I'm in the shower. So that made that very handy to use this week. The next thing is the Bliss Grapefruit and Aloe Body Butter. Now this one actually smells good. The last one we had, which was Lemon and Sage, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. That one, I put it on and it smelled really good, like of lemon when you first put it on. And then once it kind of like soaked into your skin, I'm like, where did it go? I couldn't really smell anything. I'm like, the scent kind of dissipated. So it was weird. This one, the scent actually lingers onto your skin. Bliss, their products seem to be pretty hydrating. I feel like this was a good hydration, pro hydrating product. So I did enjoy it when I purchased the full size. Probably not right now because I have a ton of lotions and stuff to get through. So, but after I get through some of those, I might purchase this. It was very nice. The next thing is from Fakai. This is the Fakai, the one Frederick Fakai Brilliant One Color Shampoo and the Brilliant One Color Conditioner. This smells so good. It smells like you're at a spa. Oh my gosh. It's got an awesome lather to it. So you put it in your hair and your, your hair really lathers up really nicely. The conditioner to it, I use just the packet of conditioner that comes in here and you guys know how that typically goes. You get those little packets of conditioner and you're like, okay, thanks for conditioning my three strands of hair what about the rest this actually did a good job just the small amount that was in here my hair was feeling very nice my hair felt good all week and I only washed my hair twice this week and the time that you're seeing right now this is from this shampoo I feel like it's left my hair looking very shiny very luxurious so I love this I would definitely purchase this product it smells so good and leaves my hair looking I think it looks really healthy right now and I don't know if it's the shampoo or because I I have no idea I think it has to be this because this was the last one I used so I'm thinking it has to be this product so smells good too and that always is a bonus for me the next thing is the Murad the nutrient charged water gel so here's the product it's that little pink gel this was actually really nice it's not super hydrating though I'd say this is more of a product that you put on like after your other skincare products so at nighttime when you're putting your other skincare products on put this on as like a last step to kind of seal everything in and it really does a good job that way I wouldn't use this alone and expect a bunch of hydration I think it's made to be used in a step process so I do enjoy it I love like overnight hydrating type of products and that's what I kind of use this for is like an overnight mask so I probably would purchase it Murad is so expensive though so unless you catch some sort of sale like on what is that box I get I had to look FabFitFun in FabFitFun they usually carry some Murad products that you can get like half off or if you catch a sale at Ulta that's the way I typically purchase my Murad just because I feel like it's expensive the next thing is from Youth to the People this is the Maki and I see prickly pear goji oh my goodness this is very, very hydrating. It's an oil, so it's going to be hydrating anyway. So here's what it looks like in the little bottle. I only use this much this week. You only need a little bit of, a couple little drops onto your hand and then press that into your skin. My skin has been completely dry. The only dry spot I have right now going on is where my little purple dot is, which is looking really gross and nasty. But it's just a an acne spot, honestly. But it's just really dry from there where I put my salicylic acid and the sulfur that I put on it to help try to dry this up. 
so it's dry there so I think I need to add a little extra more drops to it but other than that my skin is not dry this week so it makes me very happy and I think a lot of that is attributed to this because this is a very very hydrating I would definitely purchase this I have not purchased anything from youth to the people so I need to actually look into them anyway because I'm kind of interested in the brand now I'm like okay you're kind of intriguing the next thing is from uh, the body shop this is the spa of the world Japanese camellia cream I purchased some of these last year and they didn't smell that good they were not that good this one's different this one smells very very nice and it was very hydrating oh my gosh it smells very like almost like a Japanese cherry like like the cherry trees have you ever smelled them in the summertime when they're blooming it's kind of what it smells like it smells so so good very sweet very fragrant so I love the way this smells I love how hydrating it was I would purchase this one here now some of the others that I've tried from this line I was like mm, they're not that good but this one was very very good so I would definitely purchase that one there's lots of good things here this week I told you guys the next thing is the Twilight True this is the True Renewal Oil this is fragrance free it's a, a true power complex this was a very hydrating product as well it is an oil which my skin was really soaking all these oils up this week so I really enjoyed using every single one of the oils I was trying out this week I actually had an oil in my sample my weekly makeup basket as well so I had oils all over the place going on for my skin which my skin loved that so if you're someone who's like me and you have very very dry skin start pulling out your oils this is the best time to pull them out this time of year your skin's gonna drink them up and you're gonna feel so much better your skin is not going to feel sore or anything so love oils this one here was good but I don't think it was miraculous or anything I like the youth to the people better this one doesn't have a smell to it the youth to the people has a slight sweet smell to it this one doesn't really smell like anything so if you are someone who is sensitive to fragrances this one would be one for you if you're not sensitive to fragrances you might like the youth to the people better because it's a little bit sweet smell to it but nothing it's almost like sweet like candy sweet so this one just doesn't smell like anything. It's just a basic oil in my opinion. So it's good, but I don't think it's as good as the use to the people. We have two perfumes here. We have the Bond Number no. 9, the New York Manhattan. This is very strong. This is super, super strong. I, I don't know if I like this or not. I'll be honest. This is just, it's very almost, it smells like men's cologne times 100. So that's what, like men's like aftershave times 100. So like it smells very, very fragrant and very potent. So for me, this is a no. That's a no. Because I know if I use something that strong and fragrant for a long time, I will end up with a headache and then I'll be in bed for the rest of the day. So if you're someone who is very sensitive to fragrances, do not get the Bond Number no. 9 Manhattan. It is very strong. The next one is the Viva La Juicy Glace. This one smells so, so good. I love the Viva La Juicy line. All the fragrances are very sweet very I think they're very young like the smell to it smells very young but I don't mind that whatsoever because I'm 40 and I'll still wear those young fragrances I wear the Ariana Grande fragrance I'll wear the Britney Spears fragrance I wear the Taylor Swift fragrance I have no problem with that because I like smelling that sweet scent so if you're someone who likes those more sweeter scents you're gonna like the Viva La Juicy Glace as well the last thing is oops nope I'm lying we have the Bare Minerals. This is the Gen Nude. I don't know what color this is, but it's very nice. I actually really do like these. Oh, I just stuck it on my nose. Good job, Tuff. This is a very beautiful color. It's more of a, like, cream, not creamy, like a sticky type of gloss. So if you don't like stickier glosses, you might not like this. But it lasts onto your lips a very long time. It doesn't sting your lips or anything. It just lasts. Somehow it just sticks around. And I don't know if it's because it's so sticky. Now I will tell you, this is sticky enough that when I was out in the wind, it does get caught into my hair. Like my hair does get caught into my lips. So just be careful with it for that reason. But other than that, it's very nice. It's pretty hydrating and it's a pretty color. So I really did enjoy that as well. The last thing is from Dior. So we have the Dior. This is the Triple Impact Makeup Remover. It says to cleanse, smooth, soothe, and beautify. This is very good as well. I had eye makeup on to the galore the other day, and I put this, I was like, let's just test it. Let's see how good it does. It removed it all. It literally removed every single bit of it. And you guys know I'm not one of those. I don't really like the liquid makeup cleansers. I like the more balm types. This one impressed me. This one impressed me a whole Anyway, we were talking about the Dior. Where did I put it? Oh my gosh, here it is. Sorry guys, I had to put a new battery in my camera and then I lost the Dior. So it impressed me a whole lot, but not enough to where I think I'd purchase it because Dior is very pricey and I would rather use something that's not quite as expensive to remove my makeup with because eventually this is all just going to get washed down the drain anyway. I mean, all of our makeup does actually. So if we think about it that way, 
then I don't know. That kind of makes me sad. But either way, I don't know that I would purchase this just because I feel like it's pretty pricey. But if you're looking for something and you don't mind paying the higher price tag, you're looking for something to remove all of your makeup and leave your skin feeling very clean, this is good. Very, very good in my opinion. All right, we're moving on. We have to get our new samples for the week. So you ready? So we're going to pull out our basket from here. We're going to pull three. The first one is... Ooh, what do we have? We have the Bosha Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask. It's a green mask. I'm going to look like the movie The Mask when I put this on. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how green it is. Oh, and it smells like matcha tea. Have you ever had matcha tea? It smells like matcha tea, so I'm excited to try that. I don't know if I love putting matcha tea on my face, but matcha is actually really good for you, so I'm excited to try it out and look like Jim Carrey, so we'll see how that turns out. The next one is... Let's see. Oh, we got something big. We have the Origins. This is a world, a perfect world SPF 40 age defense moisturizer with white tea. What's with the tea? We got matcha tea and white tea now. So we have two different teas. So this is an SPF. This is basically a moisturizer with SPF in it. So I'll try this out because as you guys know, even though it's not summer, we should still be using a moisturizer on the daily. So make sure you're still using your moisturizer, I mean your moisturizer, your SPF on the daily. Make sure you're still using your SPF on the daily because even the winter skin, even the winter sun can damage your skin. So make sure we're still using all that. The next one is, oh, we have something from Estee Lauder. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex. This is awesome because I've been looking for a new eye cream because I finished up quite a few of my eye creams recently. So I'm excited to try this one out. That's a little bitty container here, which actually it's not that little. It's a 0.1 ounce. Well, that is kind of small, but for your eyes, it's not going to be. Okay. It doesn't smell like anything. It's a white consistency. So we'll have to try that on my eyes and see if it helps with these puffiness going on. Hopefully it'll help with at least that. I'm not sure that it'll help with the dark circles, but it might help with the puffiness and that that's all I really want. If you can help me with one or the other, I'm happy. The next thing is our perfume samples. We're going to pull two out of here. The first one is Replica Lazy Sunday Morning. So I just realized I left your basket up here. So we'll have to pause here in a minute. So I have, let me see if I can smell this. I'm going to spray it up here since I... I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to have to let that sit because right now I'm not liking the smell of it. For some reason... It reminds me of <clears throat> my aunt, not my aunt, but one of our friends had her house burned down a long time ago. And after it burned and she was able to move back in, it smells like that for some reason. And I don't know why, but that's what it reminds me of. All right. The next one is the Giorgio Armani C. I have been wanting to try this one because this is one I remember loving and this is actually on my Christmas wish list. So it's perfect that I get to try this to see if I actually want to keep it on my Christmas wish list because I'm thinking I want this for Christmas if you're watching Dear Husband. So anyway, we'll have to try this out and see if it works. I hope it does work. Now we're moving on to this basket here. This is our makeup basket. I'm going to pull two out of here. The first one is, ooh, what do we have? Ooh, we have Mario Badescu facial, facial Spray with Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. Let's go and spray some. I'm like trying all of our samples out already. Let's give her a little spritz. Oh my gosh. I don't know if it's the chamomile or the lavender, but something just smells, <laughs> I spit on myself. Something just smells so good in this. Oh my gosh. Yum. It smells like... I have pillow spray that smells very similar to this, and that's what it smells like. It smells like pillow spray, so it's probably because it's got that sleep-inducing type of scent to it, which is perfect for nighttime. Ooh, that smells amazing. The next thing is Ulta Beauty. This is the oil-free eye makeup remover, so we'll have to try these out. These are, I think these are little pads. Let's see. I think they're pads. Yeah, 15 pads it says in here. So that's going to be more than enough to remove all my makeup for this week. But we'll have to see if they actually work. Uh, I hate lids that twist that are like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's got a little seal on it. We know it's nice and secure at least. It doesn't smell like anything. So, the, ooh, there's what the little pads look like. They're just little circular pads. We'll have to see if they actually help to remove my eye makeup. I don't use waterproof, like, eye mascara or anything like that. So, it's just going to be getting off regular makeup. I don't like waterproof mascara because I don't like how hard it is to remove. So, we'll have to see. The next thing is the body care basket. As I told you guys, this one's getting very low and like, seriously guys, this basket may disappear very soon. The first one is, 
Ooh, this is a hand sanitizer. So this is the Ulta Beauty Eucalyptus Mint Hand Sanitizer. So let's go and sanitize our hands. See, I told you we're gonna try. <gasps> what the heck? I just squirted it all over myself. <laughs> it went everywhere. Oh my gosh. I got way too much. I don't think I need to sanitize my entire body. Holy smokes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it smells like double mint gum. It smells really good, so I'll have to try that out. <laughs> Not so much at one time though. The next thing is Nivea. This is the Nivea 48 hour soothing moisturizer. So this has aloe vera. So we'll have to try this out and see if it's any good because as you guys know, my skin is pretty dry. So if it works for my dry skin this winter, like this part of the winter, then it might be a good one. Now we're moving on to the shampoo basket. So here is our not shampoo, but hair care basket. So I've got the hair care basket here. The first one is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. It says it has argan oil, sunflower seed oil. It's a magic cream. Mm, let's smell it. I like the Eva NYC. Is it Eva or Eva? I don't really smell anything, although I've got a lot going on right now. I've got eucalyptus mint, I've got lavender, I've got the Repl replica lazy Sunday spray. So I've got a lot going on. The next one is. Ooh. Diva Curl. It's that good super cream. Coconut Curl Styler. I've already tried this recently, so I'm going to put this in the other basket, the one that I use for you guys. So I've already tried that, and it doesn't work that good for my hair. The next thing is the Oribe Matte Waves Texture Lotion. I think we've tried this recently, haven't we? Maybe not. For some reason, I feel like we have. I don't know why, but I feel like we have. I need to figure out how to do better at keeping track of what I've tried and what I haven't. Either way, we'll go ahead and try it so to see if it's any good. I would like to try my hair wavy to see if how it looks now that my hair is looking a little bit healthier. It might look good wavy. So that is my samples for this week. So I have everything right here to try out for this week. I'm excited to see how everything is. Now for the giveaway from last week. So the giveaway bag is in the holographic bag. So here's what the bag looks like itself. It is very holographic. It's like a Sephora bag. So the winner for that one is, hang on. The winner is Natasha H. So Natasha H, you win that goodie bag. So all you need to do if you are wanting to grab your goodie bag is find my email in the description box below and send me an email with your mailing address and I will mail this goodie out to you. So that is last week's giveaway. So now we're gonna move on to this week's giveaway. I need to go up and grab your basket. So I will just go right up there if you guys see my room tour and you know where I'm pointing to. Okay, I've got your goodie basket now so we can pop the lid and we'll go ahead and put the Diva Curl down in here. So there we can dig through and find some goodies for you guys. Oh, I forgot to show you the goodie bag giveaway, the bag. So the bag I'm gonna be putting everything into for this week is this one right here. I think this is gonna be a perfect one if you get this one to use maybe as a New Year's Eve clutch. I think it's a really cute little bag. Look how cute this is. So sparkly and shimmery. So hopefully I can get this out to you in time. So if you wanna carry this as like a New Year's Eve clutch, you can. It's velvety on the back and it's got this sparkle detail on the front. I think it's a cute bag. So let's go ahead and pull our eight samples, 10 samples. I think we're doing 10 right now. So the first one is Origins Modern Friction Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion. So you have a little Origins Dermabrasion type of product here to try out. So there's one. I'm going to stick it in a goodie bag. The next one is, what do we have here? Ooh, brushes. We have Ulta Beauty, an eyeshadow brush and a blush brush. So you have two little brushes here from Ulta Beauty. They go in the bag. We might get you a little makeup bag. You can just take your little bag with you. The next one is MAC Strobe Cream. So we have a little MAC Strobe Cream. These are very, very nice. I love the way this looks on your skin, especially if you kind of mix it with your foundation. It gives your skin that super glowy appearance. The next thing is a card. I don't know why that was in there. The next thing is... We have the YSL, this is the Rouge Volupt Shine. Ooh, so you get to try out, look at these lipsticks. They might be perfect for New Year's Eve as well. Look at that red there. That is a pretty color. That's the number 45 Rouge Tuxedo. Oh, perfect for New Year's. The next one is, uh, digging, digging, digging. We have the Cora, we have two products here actually. You have the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and the Cora Noni Glow Face Oil. So you have a face oil and a foundation to try out. So that's how many, there's three, four, five, six. Looks like five, five, we have five so far. So the next one is, ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, what is this? 
This is another foundation. So if the NARS one doesn't work out for you, we have the Too Faced. This is the Born This Way, and you get an extra bonus. You get an extra bonus of the Clinique Moisture Surge, and then you get three foundation samples to try from. So stick these in there, and we get five, four more to pull. I can't count today, guys. The next one is Living Proof Restore Mask Treatment. So you guys could do your hair, get your makeup on, put it in your little clutch. Three more, guys. The next one is... Oops, what is this? Ooh, MAC Lips. So we have MAC lipsticks to choose from. You have Ruby, Roo, Ruby Woo, Velvet Teddy, and Diva. So these are the little samples you can choose from as well. Three more. The next one is Beauty by Pop Sugar. This is Be The Boss Lip Gloss. You're gonna have lots of lip products to choose from. I can't open this. So hopefully you can see the color through there because I don't wanna open it and destroy your package. So there's what the color looks like. The next one is the Toka shampoo. Ooh, I love Toka. Toka smells so, so good. So this is a really great one. Two more. I think, I think my numbers might be off. I feel like we've gotten 10 already and I'm just going to keep on going. Now we have a beauty blender sample size. This is a beauty blender sample. So you get the little blender down here and then a little activator. This is a water. That's water. So this is a little blue, blue, a little beauty blender to go. So you've got a little beauty blender down here and you've got your sample of water. That's really cool. One more guys. The next and last one, oops, let's not do a same one. That was another Toka. We don't want two of those. That wouldn't be fair, would it? All right, the last one is the Alterna Caviar Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Moisture Conditioner. So this is an, another really, really great shampoo and conditioner set. I love Alterna. Alterna smells absolutely amazing. So these are all your goodies that are going to go into your cute little clutch. So if you're interested in winning this goodie bag, all you'll have to do is leave me a comment. Any comment, you can tell me what you're decorating your house in for Christmas, what your favorite Christmas dessert is. It doesn't matter. Just tell me anything you want to and just leave hashtag Sample Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I enjoy Sample Sunday because I get to tell you guys how all these products are and we don't spend a lot of money. We have samples. So these are technically free products that we're trying out to figure out whether or not we would want to purchase these in full size. So if you're using your samples too, make sure you let us know what samples you've tried and how they were for you so that way there we can kind of all work together to find out if these products are actually worth the money before we people actually spend the money on them thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll catch you guys later